What's going on? Oh, that's a good one. Big. That's a big cheapy. Hey, Captain Cody Dunn, are you cleaning base snapper? Look, yeah. you just killed somebody. Look at your hands. <laughs> Golly. Yes, I, I'm, I've cleaned a few already. Base so, yes, snapper. Sir. All right, so what are we starting at? Cleaning some sheep pads. So there's there's a uh, a little thing right here that you can go under and, and do this. But I start out, I just knock a couple scales off. I like starting here and just working down instead of working here, then kind of going back up. I just start what, here. What kind of knife do you recommend well, for doing this? Well, this would be a Danco. And uh, I'm sponsored by Danco. They're the best knives. Um, I've, I've had everything, and these stay sharper longer. Very durable. This is the new flex blade they've come out with. It's uh, it's very good for sheephead and redfish and all that stuff. Flex so, blade. How, what is that? Nine inches? Yeah, it's a nine inch yeah. flex. Yep. And uh, I love Danco. We've got Danco pliers, best pliers ever. But uh, I'm not just saying that because I'm sponsored by them. I, I love them. They just they hold a the blade. They don't. Uh, they're not like the red handled knives. They uh, every one of them that I've ever owned ends up looking like a serrated blade. So you're just following that back yeah, yeah. So I'm just going down, going, just getting started. So yeah. Then I come back to make sure I'm rubbing down all the ribs. Kind of just go a couple of times. You can feel the the ribs. Then I come up here. This is meat here. So everybody says sheep are hard to clean, and they're not. They're easier than redfish. I'll go against anybody on that. Come back here, making a little angle, going right down the edge of the ribs, angling my knife. Ribs turn right here. So the ribs kind of are, are rounded like this. Hang on. Um, so the ribs are curved like that, so I kind of tilt my knife that way a little okay. bit. And then they're curved that way. So then I tilt my knife that way, coming around these ribs, and I go to the butthole. To the what? You bet who? Yeah, so, so, I thought so, that was his belly button. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people think that. So, so like, like I said, my knife's curved, going down the ribs right here. If you cut in a little bit sooner than that, then you get into the guts and you got poop and all yeah, that crap. Mess, I don't yeah. want that on my meat. So really don't waste a whole lot of meat right there doing it that way. So I cut down through here again. Now I tilt my blade sideways. Let's go like that. See, look at that already. I've already got that. That's a lot of people miss this piece of meat right here, and it's there's a lot there. So, so I just I pull the flap up, go down the rib, go down the rib, go down the rib. I do I do it a lot faster than this, but I'm trying to show y'all. So then I, I fold it open, cut that away from this is the backbone. There's nothing really there now. Cut that out. Cut that out. There's a pin bone right here. I cut through that. See how easy it cut through that bone? Did anybody yeah. did anybody see that? So then I, I, I ease up over the top of the backbone, not too much though. Then I want to angle my blade down to get the other side. To get of the, the other ribs, side yeah. of the meat, so it takes a quarter inch dip there, right there. So so I angle my blade down, and just if, because of that flex blade, I'm flexing it. You see that flex? Mm, so see I'm, it. I'm, I'm flexing the flex blade. I'm probably terrible at telling how I do this, but the way that I turn it back around, cut there's a couple rib bones right there. Cut through, flip it back around. I mean, ain't no meat on that, boys. Wow. That ain't was no awesome. meat on it. That is freaking awesome, That's man. Awesome. And they say these are so hard to clean. How, how, tell me how that was hard to clean. It was they're very. Too, they're too bony. Is this a bony fillet? There's no bones in that. I got to cut this pin bone out right here. All, all fish have that. Redfish, trout, everybody has pin bones. I got to cut that out. Is that a bony fillet? 
No, it looks good, nice and thick. Very, very why why nice does one. everybody in the world say it's a bony fillet? I don't understand why people. Oh, it's been passed down through the years and years, old wives' tale, whatever you want to call it. They're not hard to clean. I, I can clean one in a minute and forty-five seconds when I'm when I'm hurrying. Well, same thing. Go down that. Go down the ribs. Half or so. Come back up here, around, get out of my way. Thank you, sir. Come making the turn, angling my blade, just like I said. Now I'm angling my blade the other direction, down towards the, the hoe. The hoe. That's some people in the past. So going down, cutting that, cutting that, cutting that like I did a while ago. And then I just spin it out and look, see, we got that all cut out. Come back over here. So then I just go down the ribs, nice and slow, flex that blade down the rib. That's why it's called a flex blade, because you can put pressure on it. Then, like I said, there's a pin, there's a bone, a rib bone I gotta cut through right there. Cut through it, you see how easy I went through it yeah, again? Yeah, that was nice. Just like a while ago. Like butter. Just like butter, cutting bones like butter. Butter. With, with the Danco. Ow, that was a fin in the finger. Mm. It feels good, I like it. It means you caught fish. And I, I mean, yeah. Clean. That, that all fish have basically them bones right there. All fish have them basically bones right there. The rib cage is just a little bit bigger. You got to learn to angle your knife and cut around the rib cage. That's all you got to do. That's, that's easy. Uh, there's no. There's not a whole lot of bones in that. There's one. There's a couple, like three pin bones right there and three right there. And I'll show you what I do on that. Now, so. This is the pin bones I was talking about. So you just go, all fish you gotta do this. Red fish you gotta do this, all of them. So I just, I do that. And you're cutting out the red meat anyway when you do that. There's red meat on all fish right there down, down that bone. One little bone or two in that, throw it away. You'll have to time, me taking my time doing this, you'll have to see, I mean, I'm going extremely slower than I do normally. And I, I still bet I'm not over two minutes. On a completely filleted fish. Just wash it out. Yeah. Then I since I got my washer girl here. He washes. She, yeah. He he washes for for free fish. So cut the pin bone out. That's red meat anyway. So you don't want to eat the red meat. This is a boneless fillet. It's boneless. Everybody says, "Oh, they're too bony. You can't even eat them because they got too much bone." I don't. I don't see it. This is all. So, so I've heard people say there's so many bones there's no fillet you tell me that's a good size that's like a three pound trout fillet yeah i mean there's not a bone in that dude and it's beautiful it's, uh, 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 yeah i'll get back yeah it's translucent there's no worms in it ever it's uh it's equally as good as red snapper and mahi mahi look it up texas all parks and wildlife fish quality and it'll tell you that these guys are just as good as a red snapper, just as good as a mahi-mahi, better than trout, better than redfish on, on food quality. Thank you very much. I'm out. Well, I'll wash it for you. Thank you, I'm Captain Cody. about this. He's serious about his <laughs> bay snapper. One day when I, I'll, I'll put my gray glove on. Look at that. <laughs> that was grody. I'll put my, my gray glove on. It keeps me from getting cut. And I think I can. I bet I can do, do like it a fast. minute. I bet I can do a minute twenty with a good sharp knife. Yeah. And I'll probably have to go to the hospital. <laughs> I bet I can do one. There might be a little bit of meat on it, but I bet I can do one in a minute twenty. You want me to get, uh, make you a bag, Ruben? Mmm. Have a couple fillets. Yeah, I think so. I think I'll take a few fillets. I'll try it again. They taste good. I just don't have seasoning for them. I gotta go to the store. I'm telling you. What did you tell me? Ah, 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 get out of there. Hey, hey. <laughs> you like seafood now? I think it's, so. It's kind of coming I think around. I'm, I think I'm starting to like it. That's a beautiful boat. Yeah. It's pretty. Very nice. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. nice. I like it a lot.